Jesus was just practically loving his neighbors, meeting their needs, helping in whatever way he could. Um, and we want to emulate Jesus and helping in any way we can. areas of focus that we've had is really trying to be aware of the impact we're making in the neighborhood right around this place that we call our home. Giving good news to the poor and helping the oppressed and setting the captives free and one of the huge things that oppresses people in our world is medical debt that they can't pay back and so they're held captive to it and I just encouraged our church look we have an opportunity here to not just read about Jesus but to be like Jesus Let's do this. Let's find a way to help forgive the medical debt of Taylor County. I had a sinus infection that lodged itself in my frontal lobe and uh, began to abscess. The next six months was uh, cognitive and uh, physical rehab as well as follow-up appointments. And when it was all said and done, the total bill was $1.2 million. We were uninsured, we were newlyweds, it was scary. I heard about what Southern Hills was doing and they put up the goal of $1.2 million eradicated from Taylor County in medical debt. Uh, that, that number spoke to me very much. There was absolutely no forewarning for our congregation. I simply extended the invitation at the end of, of a worship service and before people had left the building, we had $15,000. And so it was really exciting to see how quickly our people responded to this opportunity. Watching young people and old people see this as a need and give it, it just makes me really proud. When I came down to meet my wife, she and I kind of locked eyes and we kind of like had that moment of welling up and then I just had to turn and walk away before I, I really made a scene. Right. It's just been awesome to watch the excitement ripple through our congregation of, of, this, of this sense of we really can help people. We, we can set the captives free when it comes to this medical debt. We want to love Abilene well and not expect anything in return. I just want to encourage any church leader in Taylor County or the surrounding counties, get with RIP Medical Debt to do this same kind of good work in your church family and for the community where your church family is located because people need to know tangibly that Jesus loves them and Jesus' people love them just as much as he does.